If you're dreaming of creating that perfect wardrobe where you're always finding something gorgeous to wear with pieces that are easy to mix and match and that reflect your personal style, but you want to do it without going completely bankrupt, don't worry, it's totally realistic. We just need to be smart about it. I got an eight step wardrobe building plan for you guys and no Ikea assembly needed. Step one, stop shopping. Just stop it. No more purchases until we have a master plan in place. Our dream wardrobes and clothing budgets quickly go down the drain because of spur of the moment, money wasting decisions. Step two, make a master plan. Before anything else, we need to make sure we have the essential basics that our whole wardrobe will be resting on. If you ask me, these basics should be of neutral colors, great quality and suit your personal taste. My own 10 preferred basics I think every wardrobe need is a black tee, a white tee, neutral shaped medium wash jeans, black smart trousers, a boyfriend shirt, a blazer, a solid color knit sweater, a versatile dress, a vest, a solid color turtleneck. With these 10 essential basics, the styling possibilities are more or less endless. I'll put this list down in the description if you want to print your own checklist, where you can also add other basics you feel your wardrobe needs to be functional in your everyday life. So if you want to build a great expensive looking wardrobe without breaking your budget, here's a great little tip from my lovely sponsor ShopTiger, the app that helps you keep track of your wish list and lets you know whenever your dream items are on sale. You guys know I swear by this app and I've saved so much money the last couple of years using ShopTiger by now, it's ridiculous. I have recently gotten some epically good bargains this summer. Let me give you an example. Yes, look at my new Balenciaga sunnies. They're huge and over the top and I got them 70% off. Actually, David got them for me as my summer staycation present. What do you think? So how do you use ShopTiger? First, you download the browser button and then you just go into your favorite online store and save the item that you want to buy. Then you get push notifications to your email or phone when the item you want is on sale or comes back in stock. You can also save the items to different wish lists so that they're easy to find again and keep organized. Also, check out ShopTiger's new feature where you can find coupon codes at checkout and save money without even trying to. I get discounts more than half the time I shop clothes online now because of this feature. It's so brilliant. The team at ShopTiger told me that they have launched a new automatic cashback feature, so have a look at that as well. Go click the link in the description and download ShopTiger completely for free right now. It's such a valuable tool in becoming a more clever and conscious and organized shopper, and I could not recommend them more. When we have a checklist of essentials, it's time to take stock. Going through our wardrobes and decluttering pieces we don't use and don't love, it becomes so much clearer what we do already have and value, as well as what we're lacking. I do not hold on to things that just make me confused every time I look in the closet. I so much more prefer a pad bag and simple wardrobe where I know everything goes together. Now that our checklist has been ticked off based on what we already own, it's time to do some research. Finding good quality pieces that can fill those holes among your basics is the next step. Make a wish list on ShopTiger, for example, or some other easily accessible place and create a category for each of the basics on your checklist that you're missing. One for jeans and one for blazers, etc. etc. Then add pieces you feel fit your criteria into each category. Keep these lists quite small, only pieces that absolutely fit your criteria. Once you've made a decision on which piece to invest in, you can take off another basic from your essentials checklist. Smart, focused, well-planned shopping, that's how we build a wardrobe we truly love and stay kind to the planet at the same time. Make a monthly budget. With a budget in mind, you know how much to spend each month. Here's the long-term trick. No matter what your budget is, only spend it on one item per month. That's one way to ensure that you're really getting the best quality possible for your money and at the same time prioritizing the piece that you love the most right now and will wear for years to come. If you need a new shirt, instead of buying four fast fashion current trend shirts that don't fit quite right and will lose shape after a couple of washes, go for a great shirt with a lovely cut in a material you love to touch. I have a Kitsune boyfriend shirt that I never get tired of. It's just a white shirt but the cut is gorgeous and the material is thick and lush, so I use it way more than I would any other white shirt, just not 
quite right that would sit in my closet taking up space. Invest. It's so worth it. This means that buying online is a risk. We need to touch a piece and see it on our own body to determine if it's 100% right for us. Therefore, we need to always be prepared to return pieces we buy online. When you do find a favorite brand where the prices are within your monthly budget and you've been happy with the quality, fit and material of previous purchases, stick with it. Also, my favorite way of ensuring quality for a great piece is shopping pre-owned. I use upscale sites for this, mostly Vestiaire, where the items are quality checked before sent out. Since the items are pre-owned, it has been proved to wash well and will also be a more unique piece to treasure. Not to mention the eco-friendliness, of course. Once you've bought your one piece of the month, stay away from temptation. Don't go into shops, don't browse online, just stop shopping. Until next month. Once you're happy with your basics and that checklist has been ticked off, we can move on to the fun stuff, the showstopper pieces. These are the party dresses, the unique quirky coats, the pieces you absolutely fall in love with on first sight, even though they're far from neutral, simple basics. Again, one purchase per month is a good idea, if you ask me, since it really makes you think about which showstopper you really love. It's all about priorities, peeps. If you want to see how I mix basics with showstoppers, come hang out on Instagram. We'd love to see you over there. Every winter and every summer, it's smart to spend a bit more. Instead of investing in brand new pieces on the shelves, waiting for the mega sales each year is super vital in building a dream wardrobe on a budget. I never buy designer pieces on regular price. I always go for high percentage sales or pre-owned pieces. That's how I'm able to afford great pieces on my own monthly budget. Especially when it comes to more expensive pieces like outerwear, buying on sale or secondhand is key. And I know it can be so tempting to buy a cheap new coat full price early in the season, but if you decide to be patient, you can get such a better deal a couple of months later and you find yourself a coat that you will treasure for years. Final step, realizing we don't need a gazillion items. In fact, I find it really stressful to choose outfits when my wardrobe starts to overflow. A more pared back look where everything goes together and makes sense, where showstoppers can be paired with your basics, that's the way to build a luxurious yet useful wardrobe, if you ask me. Find great minimalist fashion Instagrammers to follow for inspo and reset your eyes to appreciate a simpler, pared down look that's not all about trends and spontaneous shopping. The beauty with gorgeous basics is that you never grow tired of them and you can use them over and over again without people noticing. Also, getting out of the shopping addiction frenzy where we think more is always better and really asking ourselves what we want our wardrobes to do for us. Buying things we truly love and then taking care of them and treasuring them, that's the way to be smart, economic and planet-friendly shopper. All while looking gorgeous as hell, of course. Guys, give me a like if you found this video helpful. It always means a lot. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Do you guys struggle with a bad shopping behavior or falling for fashion temptations? Or do you have any other smart shopping tips for us that you think should be on my list? Let's keep helping each other out and encouraging each other in the comments. See you down there, right now. And like always, love you guys. You really are the best subbies a girl can ask for. See you next week already. Puss puss and hey doll. Yes, of course. It's just about writing shit to other people about shit. So, so it's like, but wow. So, so the, the whole con <laughs> the content creator, the Twitterer, the content that the Twitterer creates is a comment. Yeah, yes.